99.9% of house wiring in Africa is a total joke and a ticking time bomb. And the reason is this. The consumer unit, which is supposed to have all the protective gadgets to protect humans against any electric shock, does not have all those gadgets. And yet, the power lines have all sorts of faults and they are not well maintained to ensure that the electricity that is supplied in the homes is safe for humans as well as the pets that are residing with the humans. Before I get to wiring of this demo, I am afraid that I will not be using a four-way consumer unit because it's too small to house all the protective devices that I personally would have in an ideal consumer unit. Some of these consumer units that are installed in USA have all those protective gadgets. The minimum size of a consumer unit that I can have in any house, whether it is a single room or a bed sitter, is a 10-way consumer unit. Here, I can have a main switch, I can have an RCD, and several other miniature circuit breakers so that I can ensure that I protect my client against any electric shock as well as protect his or her appliances from encountering any power surges that may come from the electrical power grid. Therefore, before doing the electrical wiring of this amazing demonstration that I have here on my practical board. This consumer unit, which is a four-way, has to go. Now, in the next video, I will do a perfect wiring for a consumer unit that can protect anyone that lives, especially in Africa, where they are predisposed to surges, electric shock, as well as overcurrents or short circuits. And in my consumer unit, I will have an RCD, a residual current device. I will have an SPD, a surge protective device. And I will have an isolator or a DPMCB, a double pole miniature circuit breaker. And then from there, I will have miniature circuit breakers, which will be dedicated to several circuits in a house wiring. And I will be showing you how each of them serves different circuits in a house wiring to ensure that there is safety and there is no electrical hazards that may be caused due to electrical negligence. If you are into the DIY project, especially when it comes to house electrical installation or basically home wiring, I will guide you. And if you have any questions, ask in the comment section and I will definitely guide you. If this conduit layout is looking great, let me know by you smashing that like button. If there is anywhere that you think I should improve, let me know in the comment section. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss any of these important tips that I will be sharing.